Hello friends, welcome back to Cosmopolitan Cornbread. So today I'm bringing you into the kitchen to make a delicious bourbon banana bread. And I finish this off with a praline topping. You are going to love this. So to begin, you're gonna to wanna to preheat your oven to 350 degrees. You're going to need two cups of all-purpose flour, Next, we're gonna add in a teaspoon and a half of baking powder. We'll add in a teaspoon of cinnamon. and then a half a teaspoon of salt and a half a teaspoon of baking soda. We'll stir the dry ingredients together and then set them aside for now. In another mixing bowl, I'm going to beat two eggs. I'm gonna whisk these until they're nice and airy. And of course, for a bourbon banana bread, you've gotta have bananas. I'm adding in four very ripe bananas, which would be about a cup and a half of mashed banana. But I'm just gonna go ahead and mash all these with my potato masher. This mashes up the bananas and also mixes in the eggs. And you wanna get this as smooth as possible, but little bitty lumps is perfectly fine. Next, we're adding in a cup of brown sugar, giving that a stir. We're adding in a half a cup of unsalted butter that has been melted and slightly cooled. You don't want it to be too hot because you don't want it to start cooking those eggs. But a little bit warm is okay. And now, of course, we're gonna add in a little bit of bourbon two tablespoons. This doesn't make the banana bread taste like bourbon, but it gives it a rich and incredible flavor. We're gonna stir those together. And now we're gonna chop up some pecans. You'll need a half a cup of chopped pecans, and you can chop these coarse or fine, depending upon your preference. We're gonna combine our wet and dry ingredients. And we'll stir these together until they are well combined. Don't forget to scrape the bottom of your bowl with your spatula to get all of the ingredients mixed in. Add in the chopped pecans. Give those a stir. Yeah. 
And now I'm gonna prepare my loaf pan. This is just a standard loaf pan. And we're gonna go ahead and grease this. Now I like to do this with butter, and that's why I keep all of my butter wrappers. You'll coat the bottom and the sides and be sure to get into the corners very well. We don't want anything to stick. We're going to pour the batter into our prepared loaf pan. Spread that out. And now we're gonna make our praline topping. For this, we're gonna need a third of a cup of finely chopped pecans, a quarter of a cup of turbinado sugar, that is your coarse sugar, think of sugar in the raw. Combine those in a bowl. And we're gonna need some vanilla extract, three quarters of a teaspoon. We're just gonna add that into the mixture, stir it all together until it's well combined. And then we're gonna sprinkle it on top of the bourbon banana bread. Next, this is gonna go into the oven and we're gonna bake it for 50 to 55 minutes. Always set your timer for the shorter amount of time. But about 30 minutes into the baking time, you're gonna to wanna to take a piece of aluminum foil and create a tent over the top. That'll prevent your banana bread from getting too browned on top. All right, now we're going to test the banana bread by sticking in a wooden skewer. And I could still see a little bit of batter, and so we're gonna bake it a little bit longer, and then we'll test it again. Now we're going to let this cool for about 10 minutes in the pan, and then we'll carefully remove it and let it cool on a baking rack. I have a couple of banana bread recipes on my website. I have a traditional banana bread, a paleo banana bread, I have some banana bread muffins, but this is by far my absolute favorite version. If you would like to make this, you can get a printable copy of it on my website, and you can find over 800 more recipes there as well. Now, if you make it and you love this recipe, I would love for you to give me a five-star rating there on my recipe on my website. That helps me out and helps other people find the recipes. Thanks for joining me here in the Homestead Kitchen. My name is Constance from Cosmopolitan Cornbread, and I'll talk to y'all next time.